so we're going to start today by prepping the eyelids and we're using the NARS creamy concealer in the shade custard and blending it out with the real techniques miracle complexion sponge which has been dampened with water under the tap and then blotted with a towel you want a really fine layer of this it's just to take out any discoloration that might be on the eyelids and provide a nice base for our eyeshadow to sit onto now you want to set that with any translucent powder or cream skin colored eyeshadow will do for our first eyeshadow today and using the Sigma E25 makeup brush we're using a makeup geek color here this is called Barcelona Beach it is a nice warm transition shade we're just really diffusing that one out you want a very light layer nothing too heavy this is just um, giving us a transition shade and it's gonna make that green when it does go in look really really nice and blended and diffused and our second shade that we're going to go in with now this one can be a little bit intimidating it's called desert sands it's another makeup geek matte eyeshadow just using the same brush here and we're just building that color up a little bit now although you, I'm not sure I would go in with this color on its own it does complement green really really nicely sometimes you just got to look beyond the first layer and keep powering through you always get a really nice end result and hey you know sometimes if we push ourselves with those weird colors we step outside our comfort zone now our first green that we're laying down here with that same Sigma E25 brush is Makeup Geek Dirty Martini. Again, this is a matte shadow. Now we put the we start with a lighter green and work our way up to the pressed pigment because we just want to really, 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 really build up that colour. It's quite hard to find green eyeshadows that just pack a real punch on their own you tend to get whatever color you've put underneath coming through a lot and you and I really really want this to look like a very strong green eye makeup so we're just gonna start building up on those greens packing that pigment on there now I'm just going in with a Sigma E35 blending brush this one's just clean no product on it just diffusing those colors in together now our first intense colour is another Makeup Geek shade, it's called Envy. Now this actually has quite a black undertone to it, like if you swatch it on your hand you'll actually get much more black than you will green. But it does, if you use it quite light handedly like I am here, you can get that green to come through nicely. Just the same on the other side. Now we're just putting this lower than those two warm transition shades. Same blending brush, still no product on it. Just diffusing that over the lid. And up through the crease. Now for the star of the show, this is the Morphe Pressed Pigment. This is the colour Make a Statement. And you just want to really press these colours onto the eyelid. I'm not working them too much because they can have a little bit of fallout. I've found that this is the best way to put these on. And it also builds up the colour the best. So just really pack it onto where you want it. And then tickle the edges with a clean blending brush to just diffuse those. I found that you, you just can't go in too hard sweeping over the whole shadow. See, this is just a really super, super light touch. I've then gone to the Models Prefer crease blending brush. Again, it's clean. Now for our lid colour, this is another Morphe pressed pigment. And this one is called Hollywood Vixen. It's a really nice cool gold colour, which is going to go really nicely with the glitter that we put over. And we're using a A&Q number 11. This is a really tightly packed in sable haired brush. A MAC 242 would also go really nicely. I just didn't have that on me, but that is my preferred brush when I'm using these more metallic colours. Now we're going to go in with our eyeliner. And this is a Napoleon 
brush that I'm using here in the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner. We're doing a huge wing. This is very big for me. I don't usually do my wings this big, but because I really, the wing with the glitter is the main attraction here of this look. Really wanted to make that super strong. And also my model Melita has a lot of eyelid, eyelid space. Her eyes, eyes aren't deep set at all. So I'm taking the opportunity to really do that strong eyeliner on her. I don't know the name of this brush. It was one that I kind of found. I wish I knew what the name was because I'd be getting another one. But it is a Napoleon brush, I can tell you that. Now we're going in with Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Gel Liner. This did take me a little bit of time. This is my first time using this. Did take me a little bit of time to work out. I just found you had to, in order to build it up, just really small strokes. Then go back in, get some more, and then just slowly build it up. But this tip does make it very, very easy to kind of get that precision line. The only thing about this I will say is that if you have sensitive eyelids, sensitive skin, sorry, especially the skin that is on your eyelids, this eyeliner can burn. It did, um, Melita did notice a tingle, and when I tried it later on myself, I found it really was quite uncomfortable. I did, I, it did calm down after about three minutes or so, but it was quite uncomfortable to start with, but worth it for the killer look, I think. But yeah, just something to be seriously aware of because I was, I've not heard that mentioned. So we're going to go to brows now. This is the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Powder. It's not my favourite brow thing to use. It is slightly dry, but it's all I had to use at the time. It is a really good colour though, that is the thing I do like about it. We're just doing a very natural brow today, just defining what she's already got there because we don't want to take away from the eye look too much. Then we're going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This is the Morphe 439 foundation buffing brush. So we're just working that right into the pores and into the face and down the neck in circular motions. Nothing too spectacular. This is a full coverage foundation. I don't like it that much on oily skin, but it is nice on normal to dry skin. I'm not looking to cover anything under the eyes there because my concealer will go in and do that, which is now the NARS Creamy Concealer, and this is the shade Custard. So just put that just below the eyes, and then I work that up with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which has been slightly dampened. And just blending that up to the lash line. Around the edge of the nose there. And just setting that with the Becca Translucent Powder. And the Morphe G8 brush. E8 brush, sorry. Now this is the G8 that we're going on and setting that whole foundation with. And this is the Becca Mineral powder foundation in the shade tan. So just pressing that into the face. I don't like to swirl or dust my foundation on because I don't powder on, sorry, because I don't want it to disturb the creams that I've put on. I just want to press it into the skin. It gives you a much more natural look and makes it look like skin and not cakey foundation. So this is the Becca bronzer. Just mixing those two shades together. I'm using the MAC 168 brush to pop that on with. Going under the cheekbone, up into the temple area. I don't want to take it up to her forehead because I don't want to close that area off and make that look narrower. So now we're going with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And to highlight, we're using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palette. Just 
and the Morphe M510 brush to put that on with. This brush is good for getting a light coverage. This is a nice long brush bristles. And we're going in with the Huda Beauty lashes in the style Carmen. Now for the under eye area, we are going to go in with Desert Sands. And this is the DMT pencil brush in their 400 range series. And we're just buffing that into the bottom lash line. Don't need heaps of this, just so that it comes out underneath that green and allows that green to blend a bit better when we pop that on. So we're going back to our Morphe pressed pigment. And just buffing that into over the top of that desert set make up deep desert sands with the same pencil brush. Alrighty, and for the lips, we're using the Melly Cosmetics lip liner. It's just an nude liner. We don't want to take away from the eyelid and this is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in the shade Skimpy. We're just keeping the lip nice and nude because we don't want to take away from the eye. This is a glossy Lippy Stick. Alright and there we have it, a finished product. All ready for New Year's. Big night out. The pop of glitter. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep seeing looks and comment, give me any feedback, request any looks you might like, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys.